Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF, and as you can see, we were up just barely on Friday, 0.11%. If you look at technical indicators for this uh, this ETF, you can see the MACD is very bearish. RSI is also bearish on the edge of being oversold. CCI is bearish and so is the stochastic. And we're basically at the bottom here of this range. So we could see this continue rally, but and the, probably the main reason why we saw we found support here is because we were oversold. We were basically at the bottom of the bullish band and also because we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement right at the 50 level here. So right there is the Fibonacci retracement. So we hit that as well and then we bounce. So the question is how far we will go. So tech sector, sector especially also the, the, one, the tech companies that are in the CDF are not doing really good at this current stage. If you look at Tesla, for example, it will basically be a mirror of uh, this... Uh, of this uh, this chart, so can technically where Tesla goes, this chart will go as well. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we are going to see a drop, or most likely going to see a drop towards the 300 moving average, and that's a drop of roughly 10% to the downside. MACD uh, stochastic is turning around here. Otherwise, these um, moving these uh, technical indicators are very bearish. We are at the bottom. If we were to continue rallying then probably the middle of the bullish band, a rally of roughly 5% to the upside is where we're going to see massive resistance. Well, let's look at DVI. So DVI fell off a cliff on Friday. We're down roughly 1%. Uh, found massive resistance here at the 20 exponential and the 100 moving average, which is crossing at this point, which is very bearish indeed. So we are technically at the bottom of the bullish band. We're also kind of at the bottom of these lows. So we are a little bit lower here. Break below this, then the 150 moving average comes into play. If you look at other technical indicators, they are very bearish indeed. MACD is bearish, CCI, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So momentum is definitely to the downside, and rallies are most likely going to be sold into. At the 20 exponential, as we can see it here, here, also in here, and break below here, we'll open the door to roughly the 150 moving average. So let's look at uh, VTI. Also here, down 0 0.79. We are basically underneath the middle of the bullish band. Doesn't really mean that we are going to drop towards the very bottom. If we do, then that's a drop of roughly 1.7% to the downside, and we'll hit the 50 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we're going to see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, and so is the stochastic, and the, so is the CCI. So momentum is definitely to the downside. And if you look at this candlestick here, there's almost no pullback at the end of the U.S. session. And that usually is a very, very sign. If there was a kind of pullback here, then they would basically mean that buyers were coming in and they would expect this to go higher. But this basically is a expectations here is that this will go lower and it could drop towards the 50 moving average roughly 1.26 percent to the downside it has occasionally dropped significantly below the 50 moving average but here for example it bounces and to here it breaks down and then bounces so if we start trending underneath the 50 then the 150 comes into play so let's look at mchi so also here, this continues to, usually this is rallies at the end of the month, did not do that at this current stage, but we're also not at the end of the month. This has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, and then it really broke down on Friday, underneath the three, stopped underneath the 300 moving average and down 1.19%. At this moment, it looks like we're going to target the bottom of the bullish band yet again, so down at 70, uh, 75 if you look at technical indicators, they are very bearish, all of them. MACD is uh, bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and stochastic is really turning around here. And it looks like within one or two trading days, it is also going to cross the signal line. We are on the edge of being oversold, but there's still a lot of room to the downside here. So this has been absolutely hammered. It has lost most this, uh, this year 
roughly 22% to the downside since basically February. We are at the moment, it has lost, give or take, give or take 19 or 20%. So let's look at IBB. So IBB really plunged as well on Friday, down 0.76%, still an uptrend, um, but 20 exponential is tested. There is almost no pullback at the end of the session. So this kind of is a warning that this will continue. So break below the 20, we have the 40 down here at 427, and then the 50 down here at 425. 50 has been a massive support in the past, but if you look at these technical indicators, we can see the MACD has just crossed the signal line. RSI is bearish, and CCI is becoming bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. So break below the middle of the bullish band here, then we basically can drop all the way down towards the bottom. That's roughly 3% to the downside. That will mean that we'll basically go way underneath the 50 moving average before bouncing. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.